This is Success Beyond the Score, giving insights and tips to help you learn how to build your music career from the best in the field by Millicent Stevenson. Millicent is a multi-award winning saxophonist and endorser of Harry Hartman's Fiber Reads. She is currently serving on the Executive Committee of the Musicians' Union. With over 40 years experience in the creative industry, Millicent has honed her performance and business skills. She provides personal development training and coaching via her online platform, successbeyondthescore.com. Hi, I'm Millicent Stevenson. Thank you so much for joining me for my podcast, Success Beyond the Score. Now, today is part two of my interview with Ruby Turner. Ruby has a music career spanning over 40 years in the music industry. Her number one hit, It's Going to Be All Right, broke through the US R&B chart in 1990. Now, what's amazing about this is that it's rare for a British Jamaican R&B soul singer songwriter to do this. Now, to date, she has 20 albums and singles, and these are best known in Europe and North America. She's been a session vocalist for Brian Ferry, UB40, Steel Pulse, Jules Holland, and Mick Jagger. She's written songs for Lulu, Yaz, and Maxi Priest. Now, she's also an actress, and her acting career spans theatre, films, TV soaps, documentaries, and she's even been a BBC music judge for televised choir competitions. She has an MBE, which is a member of the British Empire, which she received in the 2016 Birthday Honours List for her services to music. Now, this interview is recorded through Zoom due to COVID-19 lockdown, and we are easing in the UK, but still, uh, we've kept ourselves socially distanced. So you might perceive a slight change in the audio quality between um, the introduction and the show and so on. But don't worry, the content is stellar. So now let's pick up where we left off with Ruby Turner. You've got your eyes in the fire. So how have you fared through lockdown, you know, in terms of your business or your your business? Well, in terms of this, I mean, it's been it's been devastating all around, really, because Mm. all my shows got moved to this year. Then they got moved to next year. And it's like, okay. You start, and, 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 you know, I work with Jules as well. So once it double B, double, you know, two yeah. jobs again. Yeah. My gigs, his gigs. And that's how it's rolled. I've always kept my work going. People always think, oh, she only works with Jules. Wrong. Yeah. I do. I work with Jules, but I also keep a band going. Yeah. And I also have my own independent albums that I record, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, me and Jules are great. We work like that. And, you know, just make sure that the diaries yeah. match. You know what yeah. I mean? And then, yeah. then, then, then things can happen. Yeah. Um, this lockdown has been quite interesting. Like I said, we mm. came out um, in March last year and not thinking anything that was going to last as long as it has mm. and has been as devastating and the loss that we've experienced and the emotions that we've gone through with all that's, you know, in, enveloped as, as the months have gone on. Yeah. I have um, welcomed the, the break. I've taken it. Out of the bad, the good that the good for me was time out. Yeah. Which I haven't had for, dare I say, I've been on that treadmill for a very long time. Um, just working because I'm fortunate to have the work. So hey, I'm a woman of a certain age. I gotta work it until I gotta kind of work with no more. And uh, you know, like, well, yeah, well, don't that's the way it is. And you yeah. gotta be real, you yeah. gotta be real yeah. until such a time you you work it, you bank it, because that's gonna be when it. When, it, when you can't go, when the high heels don't work no more and the knees are gone, go on. Yeah. And you've got something, you've got something there, you got that's it. Yeah. So I've been on a treadmill for a very long time, and the, it was a it's a welcome break. I thought it was just gonna be like forever, you know, not very long. Yeah. It's gone on for a year and a half now, more or less. And I've done little bits and pieces in between, but not compared to what we normally do. Yeah. I started out writing again. I mean, I write all the time. I got that many notebooks. It's ridiculous. I don't yeah. know which one. To, every one you open, there's a poem in there. There's a piece of, there's, there's drama going on those pages, yeah. songs, what have you. I, when we came out of the, when we, when we came, when we went to lockdown, I just released my 20th album, mm. Love Was Here. I released it in January, January 24th. All the day, you know, everything was planned to go yeah. and whatever. 
lockdown. So mm. that album never actually got a chance to be toured at all. Mm. Um, and it's kind of difficult now because here I'm going to go next year. It's like, can I warrant still touring that album? Do I want? I mean, funny enough, last night we had an order come through because, you know, I sell to the website. Yeah. And an order came through for Love Was Here. And I thought, oh, somebody wants it. Yeah, maybe I'll go back. And, you know, so <laughs> it's still, it's, there's an album there that has, didn't, I haven't seen the light today, really. Yeah, yeah. Whereby there's a lot of people who've written two, three albums within this lockdown. That's great. Unfortunately for me, I don't have that set up here. Mm. You know, I, can't, I don't have the, the equipment and I, I'm not versed that way. That's another thing one needs to learn when you're starting the industry. Become versatile in your yes. instrument. Learn something, my dear. Yeah. I will, I, I, you see, I'm, I'm a team player. Yeah. And I'm team, and I say that because I sing and I write the songs and I'll let the keyboard player, that's his job. Everybody has a role. That's oh. the way we, every, I'm sharing it. I've always shared it that way. If I was to do it all myself, then, you know, but now I realize maybe I should have done it all myself because I would have done another album. <laughs> but that's by the by, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. But that's how I've always worked. Yeah. It's proven to be a little bit of a, a setback because here I am in lockdown. But it doesn't stop me from writing. It doesn't stop me from holding the phone and singing a melody into it. So I've been doing that anyway. Yeah. And catching up on my family and friends and stuff like that. And then, you know, time in the house. I mean, I've been here, I mean, 15 years. I'm seeing it. It's the first time I'm actually seeing it. Really, it's, it's an entirety of it. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? You know, oh, I could change that. Never yeah. thought about that before. No, no. Never, never been here. You're constantly oh, on the road. Mm. Yeah, I was on the road. So it was. It, it's been good to be to have a. Thank God, I have a base. Yeah. I have a home. Yeah. yeah. So all those things, I'm so grateful for. I have a home. Lock that door and a nice little garden, and yeah. that's me. Yeah, yeah. So I've I've managed it that way, and um. You know, the pandemic did did rock my world badly because my brother got hit with it in New York. He lives in New York and okay. and it got very close, very close indeed. I was fortunate that I had a cousin that was a nurse in that very same hospital. And God bless George. He would go into the room, into the, my brother's room, and he'd surreptitiously switch his phone on. So that Rob, so I could see what was going on in that yeah. ward, yeah. on that ward. And I saw Robert and I saw him on the machine, oh. not the machine, on, on, the, on the, the, the breathing thing. Yeah. And I saw the struggle for breath. And I went through this last year, Mar- April, May, June was the hardest of my life mm. because I'm here in this country and I'm on the line and I can't get to them. At the same time, my dad, mm. my dad, was not good and he was robert's main carer oh and i say main carer i'll leave it at that um in terms of um you call uh, the, the, between my brother that, the connection yeah the, my dad and my brother that was that was a circle that's what yeah. i had robert yeah. was filling me in with it when robert went down my dad as poorly as he was was aware of what was happening and then I, I tell you, I can't even, I, I don't even want to go back there. Mm. I've re- and, and that's when I, I was writing ferociously because I was documenting stuff that was going on. Yeah. Um, and Robert came out, he, 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 you know, he, he, he's, he's got long COVID to a point where he had diabetes, but not as bad. And it sent it right into full on, full blown needle time. Mm. You know, yeah. one of the, one of his, 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 his legs was, was badly affected. Mm. He thought he might have lost that that foot. Thank God they worked on it and they managed to, you know. Mm. Um, so a lot of stuff happened, you know, and and Robert came out and my dad, and then I saw, got to see my dad and, and my dad changed over that time. And he came out, Robert came out in June and July, my dad died. Oh. And so, yeah, a lot of stuff's gone on. A lot, yeah. you know, time spent here wasn't just spent a lot of, you know, I had, I'm so glad I had a home mm. and I wasn't touring and running around. Yes. Because you, you have know, to be I, thinking about cancelling engagements and yeah, flying yeah, across. Yes. I and, was here, yeah. yeah, I was here. And then, of course, all this lockdown business was going on. And then I was fortunate enough, you know, do I go, father died. They shipped his body home to Jamaica. And I went, that's it. I've got to go. I've got to go. I've always been with my father. I, you know, my dad's always, my trips to Jamaica, like, endless 
my times. I documented everything every time to Jamaica. I got him here on phone calls, on my phone, in the kitchen, cooking, me taunting him, where I cook. <laughs> Why don't you leave me alone? Conversations we've had, yeah. I recorded yeah. with my father. Wow. And so I have those memories. I have those things. Mm-hmm. And I managed to get out to Jamaica they, um, for the August. And I went into lockdown in Jamaica for four, two weeks. I took my sister with me. Yeah. And, you know, girl, I had the, it, we've had holidays in our lifetime. If you can call it, I went to Bermidad. What a holiday. Oh, my God. I went there and all of a sudden it was so strange. Yeah. It was so strange. Yeah, we went to this little hotel and all the COVID, everything, the rules were great, everything sorted out, small little thing, back down to the to, to the beach. So there was on the beach and it was, it was, it was wonderful. And I had time to think about my father because what was important was I was on the island where my father was now. Yeah. And I was on the island, and that was what was important to me. Mm-hmm. And and I felt like I was with him, and the, a lady in that sea girl as light on the sun for yeah. hours. I never come out till me and my sister. We were we were so dark and gorgeous. <laughs> I and then. And, and the beach, and then they come around with a jelly coconut, and yeah. we buy it, and then and we got the white rum, and we chuck it. It was all going on. At one point, I thought, "Am I here to mourn my dad or what? What's going on?" I said, "No." <laughs> I said, "No. This is what my father would have wanted. Yeah. This yeah. is a holiday. Come, come, girl, come. Mm. Yeah. This is what I want. And yes. it was, it was sad, but also beautiful because mm. I was able to go and say goodbye." Yeah, yeah. And the day before lockdown, I broke the rules because we had two weeks quarantine. We'll take that bit out of the recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I say, but without leave the rule, left it, I don't care. Leave it in because it was only a day. <laughs> it was only a day. It was very important. I yeah. wanted to go and see him in the funeral home. Oh, okay. And I was, he was going to be buried the next day, and I wanted yeah. to see him without the crowds. Yeah. And I went in my girl and I sang Peace in the Valley oh, wow. to my dad. Wow. Just me and him. And they let me in. They let me in and I just stood there and I, I you know, it didn't look like my dad, but it was my dad. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, yeah, and you know what? We, it, it, I've never lost a family member. Mm. And here I'm at my great age, being learned this lesson. And I held, I held my ground. I held it. I held it because I'm my father's daughter mm. and he know how to hold him ground. <laughs> and he did. And I, hey, and I, 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 that's me. That's me and yeah. G. That, that's the father I had, you know, and mm. I love that man daily. And yeah, I love that man daily. And I had to get there. And I quarantined for the two weeks and it came out and then, and then the Monday, buried him on the Saturday, flew home on the Monday, came mm. back here, locked down again. <laughs> locked me down. And it was yeah. all very nice. Yeah. And they come back locked down in England. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, but it was September, came back here on the first of September. Yeah. And it's yeah. been what it's been ever since, you know. Yeah. It's been what it's been ever since. I'm telling you, careers and life and what have you, when stuff like that happens, yeah. you really get a real sense of what it's all about. Yes. You really do. And if anything I've learned, I've, I've grown up, I don't know, you know, you kind of get a balance of things that are important, mm. that are not so important. And you drive, we sort of drive ourselves so hard to achieve things. Give yourself a break. Yeah. Back off. Yeah. Breathe. Yeah. And then, of course, within all that stuff going on, George Floyd died. And yeah. then I have to say that affected me greatly, mm. immensely. Yeah. Very, I, I wept, I wept, I wept. Mm. I wept, I wept for a nation that's just under the cosh. Mm. I wept for a history that has not changed. Mm. I wept for my life. I wept for my family. I wept for my people. I wept, I wept for the planet. I wept for, I wept for the humankind. Yeah. Because we've not learned anything. Mm. And you know, just, just little old me, and I'm sure everybody, so many felt the same. 
Oh gosh, yeah. You know, so many of us all felt the same. I felt I was paralyzed with just broken, broken mm. with the hopelessness of man in humanity to man, as you know, Stevie Wonder would say mm. in that song. I think it's conversation piece that he sings. Mm. Anyway, it's a, and it doesn't seem to be ending. And I don't want to go into, into that because we don't want to. Because we as a people, I might personally don't dwell, try never throughout all this thing, racism. I've been to all that. I've yeah. been there. I've seen it all. I've seen the color of my album cover. Wow, I'm looking light. Anyway, I go to that. <laughs> wow. I know that one. <laughs> I know that one. Oh, gosh, hey, I know that one. The photographers take out. a picture and they're just lighting it oh up and thinking, God. that's not me. That's it's me. Well, honeycomb. Woo! <laughs> I know how about that. Yeah, anyway, golden yeah. Golden Oricon. Yeah. Anyway, and you know, like I said, through my life, I have all the stuff's going on. Yeah. Just, wait, just kept going. The opportunities that came my way, if I was there and then get, you know present themselves, you know, I would I would embrace it. Yeah. yeah. All the ugly stuff, because there's always been ugly stuff. Yeah. The ugly stuff has never gone away. It's been there. But I wasn't going to give it any air. I wasn't going to give it any oxygen. I'm going to dig- make them stay, carry on. That's their life. That's what you want. This is the life I've been given. And oh my God, it's grace. Yeah. I'm going to go with my grace. Mm. And the rest can take care of itself. Yeah. Your business may gone until you trouble me. <laughs> That's another until story. you trouble me. <laughs> You trouble, then you trouble, trouble, <laughs> and, yeah, hey, and that's basically it. Yeah, and that's basically it. Rest and of I, it, I don't give it no answer. Make along. Let yeah, and I think that's the way to deal with it. You know, it's a, yeah. it's, a it's a step by step. It's uh, you know, we, yeah. we do what yeah. we can. We, yeah. we put our best foot forward. We do great jobs, uh, so people see yeah. the better side of our of our nation. But at the same time, you know, if yeah. it's something that needs to be challenged, it has to be challenged. And absolutely, uh, you, you know, know, George Floyd thing has lift the lead up a lot of stuff that says, look, we, of, we need yeah. to look at this again we need to address these things again yeah yeah no we need well, to and again but the thing is yeah. again and again and again and you know so, that, that's it's when will it end you know, that's that's the thing that that, that does me you know mm. it can't be that we are the big old carrying on but and it'll calm down until it happens again yeah and so you, you, it, we know because we've been around long enough to see it and you, it, for another moment, and you go, you know, you don't want it to happen. Want it to stop? Want yeah. it to stop? Want it all to stop? Want it all to stop now? To stop? Yeah. Everybody stop. And I suppose what was for me was encouraging. What was so encouraging for me this time round compared to the other years is the young people, black yeah. and white, that came forward that said yeah. no. Yeah. It, to me, it made my it, even talking about it now make my the back of the head stand up with the the power and the love that people yeah. coming forward. And yeah. please God, the young generation take over and run yeah. with this and run with it right. Yeah. I really. love it. It, it became international, you know, yeah. and, and, and cross cross cultures where people yeah, yeah. saying, no, this has to start. Yeah. I think that's brilliant. Yeah. They finally put yeah. in more pressure Absolutely. and power behind it. So I'm yeah, looking yeah. forward to some change. I know that maybe some people won't be ready to change, but I'm looking forward to, for, towards some change and doing what I can where I am, as you yeah. are doing what you can where you are. Yeah. If we all do what we can where we are, we'll, we'll, we'll see change. Absolutely. You know, people, yeah, yeah, people, yeah. I mean, okay, so I haven't been on marches and stuff, but, you know, you do your, your sports in another way. Yes. But, you know, all my life, I've always said, as long as I remain visible, mm. as long as I keep working, I hopefully I will empower you know, inspire another person to keep going. You say the years, see that? You want to know how to do it? You mind your own business, you focus, and you get on with it. Yeah. You get rid of all the nonsense, and you serve the music. You yeah. serve, whatever you do, you serve it. And stuff is going to come. It's going to come. Do not, be, you know, be knocked off course. Yeah. Hang on to grace and keep going. Yeah. And as long as I make myself visible, then people go, well, if Ruby can still be doing it, then it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for that reason and that reason alone, I'll keep going till next week. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Speaking of keeping going, have you ever thought about retiring at all? I know you talked about in the early days, maybe you'd have gone into early learnings. But um, at this stage, do you, are you just going to keep going until or have you got well, you plans know, to slow you don't down? Retire from, you don't retire from a gift, do you? Hmm. How, do you how do you shake off your, you know, it, it found me. Like I said, these, these things find you. Yeah. Um, so how do you walk away from it? Yeah. It's impossible. It has occurred to me, you know, yeah. health issues, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. How long can you keep going? You know, yeah. you know, since, the, like I say, since we stopped working, I haven't stopped. I have not come off that wheel. It not stopped, non-stop. Yeah. And the little break came, you know, it, for someone like me and many others, I'm sure, appreciated just putting that suitcase away. And that's when I, you open on, they've got, I've got four suitcases for different nights. How long you're staying? How long you're not staying? It's like, yeah. oh, there's no room in this house. So there's, you know, packing and repacking. That's yeah. all, that's our lives are packing and repacking. We live in suitcases, literally. Yeah. And so, you know, there are times during this period where I thought to myself, hmm, yeah, I, yeah, I want to continue singing, but can I go back at that, that, at that ferocious rate, I, I don't think mm. I want to. I don't mm. think it's, I don't think I can. I, you know, the energy, because whatever we're going on, the, that spirit that we move with, when we fired up to work, you know, we've been, I've been doing. And so time to breathe, you know, you, you, decompress the thing. Whew. Yeah. You, it takes a lot to gear that, what, that, that machine back up, yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know? And I think that's one of the things about lockdown is it's given us all a chance to sort of review our lifestyle and think what changes that's, will we make and yeah, yeah. how to do it a little bit differently, but better, you know, yeah, yeah. and more comfortable, you know. More com- yeah. yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I've, I've also been very fortunate because the work I do is at a level, yeah. which means, you know, there's not too much. Yet, although we're my band and we're back in the bus and all of us hurtling down, you know, three hours later, we're all piling up. Some can't walk, some all stiff. <laughs> you know, they, listen, that's the thing. That still goes on. Right? <laughs> you know, trust me. And then yeah. when I would just, ooh, we taken everywhere and whatever. Yeah. Compl- two completely different lifestyles. But <laughs> I wouldn't trade it because one keeps me very grounded and one gives, say, I, 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 you know, I'm giving thanks and praises. Yeah. So two jobs. And, they, you know, you, you, you make it work. You make it yeah. work. But I think... This time round, I don't think the retirement is 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 something that I could can really deeply consider unless for health issues, then I have to stop. Mm. But no, I think in some capacity, yeah, I will yeah. still be doing something. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not at the, the level and 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 like I say, that I was I've been doing it before, mm-hmm. she says, because I've seen Lexia's diary. <laughs> And all those things you have to honor that to be moved and get moving. Yes, yes. And moving. So, so I said, God spare my life. I shall honor next year. <laughs> <laughs> and then I shall give it a real good think. For the next year yes. after that. <laughs> and then, and then, don't, anybody, don't anybody get clever and put anything else in next year. <laughs> all that diary. Yeah. 2023. Yeah. Let's try and get to it. Well, who knows? Who knows anything? So, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah. the idea for me, I'm thinking, yeah, I think maybe just go easy next time. Go easy mm-hmm. where we ease back into it, mm-hmm. and we've re- valued life. And how you know how you how you live your life now is really very important. I need to spend more time with my family. My mom's mm-hmm. eighty one this year. Mm-hmm. I need to spend more time to be able to, to get to her easier than sort of where are you? I'm on another ship going off to. Although I've seen that, I think next year I'm going up the Amazon somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, never mind any of that. That's, uh, I've seen the I've seen the diary. Yeah. I haven't looked at it. I've, I've seen bits of it and skip it. Oh, don't want to see that just yet. And it's been a bit like because I'm liking my life right now, just, yeah. just being quiet. And yeah. you know, whatever shows we got coming up later on when the opening does eventually open, yeah. because if this open that's not going to happen. It's going to open on my birthday. I went, oh, twenty second of June. I went, ah, and I had a gig on it, and I thought, oh, can't even have a drink. <laughs> I could have, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, I can't sing and drive. Oh, yeah. anyway, that ain't going to happen now because we're now moved to the 19th yeah. of, of July. So, yeah. so they've got, they moved the gig to the 20th of July. Anyway, never mind. It's not on me, it's, it's not on me birthday to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, hopefully we'll take mm. it easy going in. Yeah. Take it easy going in, um, in the, you know, the next phase. And yeah. I, I think not just in the music industry, everybody. 
everybody from every walk of life. Some people are thinking, well, do I have to be in the office nine to five, Monday to Friday? Some are saying, no, they don't. So take yeah, this opportunity to, to love your home, be in your home, cook your yeah. food. You know, it's, yeah, I, I, mm. a lot of changes are going on. At the same time, devastating, a lot of jobs have been lost. Mm. So I'm so aware of all that too. Yeah. Yeah. In our industry, as too, while we, mm. you know, we're the artists, wait to sing, all the engineers and all our, our road crew, yeah. a lot of them, they, I, you know, have gone, had to find other jobs. Yeah. If yeah. there's any other jobs, you know, oh, so it's, oh. it's not been easy. No. It's, it's been, we've had, we, uh, right now, the world's dealing with a whole, it's a whole new thing we're mm. all having to deal with. Yeah. And see how hopefully we all come out you know, a little bit wiser and a little bit more kinder to ourselves yeah. and to our fellow men, you know? Yeah. yeah. So obviously you're usually on the road. So how do you cope with sort of health issues on the road? I wrote an article while you're thinking about that called the journey of the menopausal musician. Cause <laughs> I've, I've been going through that and I wrote that for musicians union and it's been picked up in different ways. Wow. But I thought, okay. I thought, I wonder how Ruby copes with some of the health challenges <laughs> Being a woman on the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I I um I have a wonderful well, I did have a wonderful doctor. Yeah. He's since retired during this lockdown, which I'm not happy about. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm very fortunate. This, this is another thing, you know, our health service been in this country has been absolutely wonderful. And I've been so fortunate because I had a really wonderful doctor. Yeah. Dr. Yap, he's Malaysian. And, you know, I used to go in there all miserable and carrying on with myself. By the yeah. time I come howling with laughter, he used to leave me last. Yeah. To come in so we could have a chat. <laughs> That's nice. I'm sorry, NHS, but he, he knew me and <laughs> bless him. He used to leave me the last patient of his the, the morning so he could talk me out of my state of mind. <laughs> and I it, honestly, I'll never forget him. Years ago, I was like, oh, I'm feeling down. He said, right. You know, they used to do um, keep fit on prescription. Yes, yes, <laughs> he they went, did. Ah, come on, get to the swimming pool, get in there and walk. I went, yeah. All oh, right, then. No medication. Yeah. I came out there laughing. He yeah. was such a great doctor. Uh-huh. He just talked to me. Yeah. And I come out feeling so much better just having a talk. And sometimes and that's what we need, though, isn't it? Yeah. We don't need tablets. What, sometimes we just need to talk. Yeah, ab- absolutely. And, uh, and the thing is with Dr. Yap, you know, dare I say, the whole system, you know, how, how long has a patient got in that room? Not ten enough minutes, to just, just talk. Mm. And sometimes... Our doctor is the most, because he knows our, our inners and our things and our minds. And he can tell us, and can't you be all right? Just mm. reassuring. Mm. Sometimes all you need is just him to reassure you. And Dr. Yap used to do that. So, but he's also, he was also very aware of me, you know, because as a child, I suffered with tonsillitis badly. Okay. Uh, yeah. And so, and, and they, they never took them out. When I came to this country, I was nine. And my dad said, when you get that, they'll, they, you know, they, they let them see that better you know, medical care in the UK. So, but when I got here, then they stopped taking them out. They, there was oh. a time that we, they used to whip them yes. out a lot. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, they stopped taking them out. So, but mine is scarred and, you know, and it's not good for a singer, but there you have it. That's my cross to bear. Um, so he was always giving me advice on how to steaming. He also did acupuncture. He, he did all sorts to just, you know, prepare me for tours yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And so I always used to go leave leave on, on tour with some antibiotics just in case. Because mm. he was always aware that if you're, how long you're away for? Well, here's that. Don't take them. They're just there for your backup. But you know yeah. what you need to do. Sure. And so that's how I used to do. And in terms of that menopause, well, that's some little thing that keeps skipping in and out. I like the way you call so, it little. Well, I call it little because it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, I won't even swear, but you know, the bottom line is you don't know why you're sweating. You yeah. don't know why you got mad. You don't know why you get upset all of a sudden. You don't know why, you don't know why you feel emotional. What? Well, thankfully, because we read a lot and, and, you know, got some information and stuff, it was able to guide you through. Yeah. And I have a dear friend yeah. and my great, good friend, Caroline, who was my bookkeeper. She went, started going through when she was 45. Oh, so she was very young. Yeah. And 44 she was. So oh. she was going through all this while I was watching her go, what? what? Mm. Oh, straight her clothes off. All sort of, you know, all sort of, oh, the fans on all night. <laughs> 
I go, so they go, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I didn't know. And then yeah. slowly but surely, then they're, they're talking about perimenopause or yes. what? Yeah. 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 Perimenopause. Mm. Mm. But they also, you know, oh my God. It just I got because there's a member of my family that had um had breast cancer. Yeah. Um then they wouldn't put they wouldn't put me on HRT anyway. Okay. So they they, they follow follow the family thing. So mm-hmm. to, to, so I had to make my mind up well to to deal with it myself mm-hmm. to let nature you know yeah recognize it and don't think that's all it is. It's just calm down, calm down. Mm, I'll be right in a minute. Lots of you know sitting on the bus sweating. Yeah. You know. But then I go on stage and I'm sweating anyway. And yeah. it's a sweat. I don't know what it is. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm not sure. What I'm, what's going on? Half the time I wasn't sure. Different now, the aches and pains and the muscle. Oh my God. Those things, well, because I read about them, then I'm, I'm, hope, I'm one doesn't want to go into self diagnosis yeah. because you, you never know. It could be diagnosis and it's wrong. Yeah. But just following the patterns and hearing yeah. other people's testimony and reading other things, mm. I was able to identify a few things yeah. and just, just to calm me down. But the work we do, we ain't got time for that. Mm-hmm. We're too busy. We, yeah. Who got time for that? <laughs> when you're packing bags and running from airport to airport, yeah, you know what I mean? So man, take, a, take a hike, I'll see you in a minute. Get to the bathroom and shower down. And then start again, you know. <laughs> just couldn't stop. I think yeah. the work we do, or for me personally speaking, I think it's been a really good distraction for it. Okay. In a, in a funny kind of way, because, yeah. you know, when I'm singing, I'm singing through maybe the medical's kicking in when I'm going hard. Maybe yeah. who knows? Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm able to, you know, we expel the, the whole yeah. thing and stuff. Yeah. So I use all that and and then deal with the sweats, whatever they are. And, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. and the mood swings and stuff. Yeah. But then as a child, you know, coming up, you know, my, my monthlies was a nightmare. I yeah. suffered with those two. So yeah. I wasn't sure what was any different. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, mm, okay, the cramps and the, yeah. the mood swings. This was just another a continuation of it, really. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, not not not. I, I managed it. I managed it, yeah. but I only managed it because I became, you know, I read upon it and 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 became informed. Yeah. Because I think that that helped, you know. But then some people, my mother, never had it. Oh really? I could not believe it. My girl, listen. She sweated, oh, oh, I'm hot, oh, oh. And it went, nothing more. Wow. She never went through it. One of the fortunate ones. Then. <laughs> so she oh, couldn't tell me nothing. I asked her, she yeah. couldn't tell me anything. Yeah. Bless yeah. Her, you know, which is really yeah. love, good, good for her. But yeah. um, I don't know. It just, you, you have to somehow, you know, arm yourself with the information. Yeah. And, and if you know, then just, just hold it down, you know what I mean? Find yeah. a quiet corner and just don't be in company when you're not feeling yourself because <laughs> you're not going to be very nice. Yeah, and, and you, I think you, you're right there. It's this thing about being on stage where you are this other person because when you're off stage, you're you, but when you're on stage, you're this other persona. And yeah. I know I, I go on stage with maybe my flannel or a little fan, but generally speaking, if there's enough um, air flow I can yeah. cope with that sweat because you know to be on stage to sing anyway there's a lot of sweat because you use that energy through your body and then you've got that on top and you just kind of go okay here comes one now do, 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 and you just get on with it you know <laughs> I make a joke of it sometimes I just get on with it but it's like yes. ideally it'd be nice to be at home just being in your own little corner but you're on your yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well listen that's it i mean the the, the thing with, with like jules's shows when i do jules's shows yeah on his piano because you know the piano's right there yes yes it's grand yeah. lovely blue flannel just there <laughs> mine yeah. <laughs> yeah the crew that's part of the, the setup yes because the flannel there yeah. yeah and it's mine yeah yeah. So when I'm, and then when when the, when when the pressure hits, you lean, I lean in, <laughs> I lean in on that piano. I'll, I'll be watching now next time. I, you know what you like? I lean in. I'm a, I lean in. I thought this is what I'm saying. You yeah. lean in. Yeah. <laughs> mop up and put it back. That's in between other lines. Summertime. <laughs> <laughs> in between song love, in between song, in, intro, intro going on, carry yes. on. <laughs> <laughs> intro. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of those really. You just yeah. have to 
you have to deal with it. You we have, have to, to. We have to. We don't choose. It's it's part of womanhood. It's what what it is. Yeah. And you know, sometimes some they say that the worrying thing is it goes on for ten years. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Ten years. So I'm kind of in. It. I'm in it. I'm kind of in it. In yeah. it's sort of in the middle of it somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay. I had um I had a medical procedure which um resulted in me having to go into the menopause. And when I spoke yeah. to my doctor, she, she said, "Well, you know, maybe in about you know a couple of years you'll start the menopause." I said, "How long will that last?" She said, "Oh, maybe a couple of years." And like six years later, I'm still in it. I'm like that woman. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then I'm going to tell she got, can't tell you that. She didn't tell me that. She, she didn't, didn't tell you that. <laughs> she didn't tell me. But also, I was talking to a friend of mine about menopause because she was going through, and we were talking about, she's a musician, mm-hmm. and she was saying that, you know, she wonders whether people like Mahalia Jackson, when you watch some of the videos, is sweating profusely, wonder she was going through the menopause. And sometimes oh. I watch Tina Turner, and Tina Turner's mopping like crazy, and I'm thinking, oh, I wonder if, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now we know. Now we know what the flag is all about. Yeah, yeah, it's all part of the state well, setup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. You, 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 it's all part of it, isn't it? Yeah, really? it's it all is, part of it. it is. You know, and, and it maybe also explains why you saw in European countries all this fan business. And, you know, yeah. there's a lot of fa- why was fans invented, and yeah. why did women need the fan? Yeah, yeah. Did anyone look at that? There's a no. lot of fan going on. No. Oh. Yeah. There's a lot of funny good day. Yeah. We'll get, we're a hot from time. Yes. Yeah. It's only in we're recent hot. years. Yeah. It's only in recent years that the, 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 the information's coming through for us yeah. to understand. But in the past, yeah. it was not much said about it. It was mentioned, not, but not much, really. Yeah. Not, not yeah. Much. Yeah. I, 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 I guess if they could find the miracle cure or, well, not cure, but something to ease it. Because, yeah. you know, nature has to do what she has to do. Yeah. He's just saying that the boiler's running out now. And it's like, tuk, 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 tuk. Well, I I like to see it as a new stage of life. If, even if the boiler's running out, I'll be getting a different <laughs> one. But it's a new stage of life. It's a new thing. I like the fun one. I like the I like the I like the, I like the engine. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> I like the boiler. I'm oh, just thinking of a boiler look, makes me hard. So I don't want to think. <laughs> no, listen. When you go there, love. You have to laugh <laughs> yeah. because that's exactly that. It's an engine we have. Mm. We've been wonderfully made. Yeah. We have been yeah. wonderfully made. Yeah. And she'd say, you know, when you had a child, in it? no, it's gonna stop. And this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> 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 it's fantastic. Oh, I don't, listen, I got to laugh. I mean, you know, when you got your good friends and I've got yeah. some lovely girlfriends, and we're all going through it, laughing. She said, "Let on." She said, "The water run down my back." Yes, yes. I mean, there's all that. You know, yeah. what is that? Person who wants to run down the back. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's the night sweats are the worst. Yes. Yeah, they the are. The night sweats. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I'm, I love summer because I'm a, I'm a woman that has a clothes line. When I wash my whites, I like them blowing and carrying on with themselves. Uh-huh. So summer with the heat and the, and the sweating, that bed is stripped, constantly stripping. You know what I mean? The winter ones are tough because they have the, yeah. you know, yeah. getting dry. But the summer... Yeah, you can just strip yeah. the bed and come yeah, on. Yeah, definitely. Wonderful. definitely. Yeah. So listen, yes, we're, we're, we're wrapping up, you know, we're wrapping up. But I'm, no! I'm, I'd love it's, to... <laughs> it's where you're going. <laughs> I'd love to know um, if you... What are your three tips for anyone wanting to have a full-time career in music? You know, based from... Maybe based from your experience, certain things you've observed, but what sort of tips uh, that you give for people who are thinking... I want to have that full-time career in music. Goodness. I, you know, it's diff- I thought about that question last night. Um, I don't, it's very difficult to, to, to advise mm. any artist really mm-hmm. uh, with regards to what they want out of this or how they get longevity or whatever, because it's down to the individual. Right. And, and, you know, the years that I've witnessed currently is some come in huge trailblazers oh i'm bored i'm gonna be so and so now instead mm. and they're off yeah. or they use it as a stepping stone or a springboard into that celebrity lifestyle or yeah. find another route to to, to do something else mm. um so it's very difficult to to advise anybody because i don't know i can only but speak for myself 
that when I started, I was serving the music, I was pursuing this thing in the most beautiful way, I think. You know, the opportunities that, pro that uh, presented themselves, I took those opportunities and I kept singing and I kept acting when they came and I kept doing that and I mm. stayed focused and I kept doing and stayed on course. I don't know if anybody these days are able to stay that course anymore. Mm. There's so much distractions. There's so many other ways to get into the industry and to do other things. But in fairness, they are still very talented, wonderful young people coming through that want to, you know, express themselves musically and want to make a life and want to do this thing. It's, it's, it's their life purpose. So, mm. And I can only but say, then do so. Mm. And, you know, and, and if, you're, if you can, Follow your heart, really, and listen to yourself. But more so, be armed with some knowledge, knowledge of the business itself. Yeah. Have an idea about where the money's been spent. If you get an advance, you want to know how it's been spent so that mm. you don't end up with owing, like I am still in debt to my label all those years ago. Why? You know, but you are because the, the money that when you were being wind and down and put up in a nice hotel, you didn't realize it was coming after your money. It uh, was, uh -huh. you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, or the advance you were given. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, just just arm yourself with as much information about what this, this entails. Because it's one thing, you've got your talent and you're pursuing it and, and that's great. But also there's, there's also there's a world of other things that are in play with regards to this industry. So... You don't have to learn it all because, like I say, everybody has his job. So, yeah. so does that. But you know what? Have an idea about what their job should be. Mm. So if you're having a conversation with the tour person, then you want to know what the tour person's job should be. Have an idea about what that entails. And what does that do? And what, mm. what should that be? So that you can, when you have these conversations with them, you know, be on a footing whereby you're not going to have the wool pull over your eyes. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if you're paying for stuff to be done and it's not getting done, you need to know that what you need to know what it is that yeah. you need to get you to the next stage, mm. you know? And, but apart from that, it's very difficult to advise any, mm. any artist because yeah. a true artist mm. knows himself and will pursue his, his passion and what it is that he is. And, and you can't advise that individual who advised, you know, the art, the painters, nobody did. They mm. suffered. They kept going. They yeah. had friends, mm. but they still scratched away and still painted away. And that's what you have to do. Be prepared to work hard. You know, be, but I like, it's a different world now. I don't know how you don't have to, if you can get on the telly and get yourself that way, get through that way, you don't have to work. You don't have to work as hard at all. Mm. Like, yeah. I know I, I, I said, personally, personally speaking, how I've had to do it. I talk about getting that transit van with the band and all the gear in the back and drive for three hours, rolling out. You can only stand up. You get out, you're going to put a performance of your life on that stage because they deserve, they pay the tickets. You better do that. You jump back in that van and you get back in the, on the motorway and you roll out four, three o'clock in the morning and then you're coming in with the milkman and you know, and you know, and you're going to get up and do carry on with your life. And there's another gig, you get back in. I don't think those gigs, those people, that, that happens much now, mm. apart from those ban ban you know kind of yeah yeah situation but bands, yeah mm. function yeah so there ain't that ain't not much going on now they, they don't want it that way the mm. kids today i was that you know we want to go the, the nice route we want the champagne and we want the the, the gear the clothes and mm. we're gonna go on the telly and get and get there and 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 that kind of it's it's kind of wrong in a way because it's it's it doesn't say it doesn't say, I mean, you know, to be fast track, you the expression, to be fast track into the industry. Yeah. And yeah. When, when they fast track, they wrote that track runs out very quickly, mm. very quickly. But then did they really want to be in it? Are you there taking up space where somebody really should be there? And, and so what can you do? What can yeah. you do? What can you do other than you just let them go? And the yeah. true artist, the cream will rise. Yeah. I, you know, the old expression is still the same. It will mm -hmm. rise to the top. And those who really, really want it, those who really want to do this, will still be there. Yeah. And those who just came in and thought, oh, this is not for me. And there's a lot of those, trust me, not for me, I oh, can't be bothered with that. Who yeah. oh, ain't having that? And it's been said, I've seen it. you seen it. The, the whole industry is littered, littered, dare I say, with mm -hmm. all these, with stuff. 
dare I call it, because it, they were never really intended. It looked good. I can yeah. wear this. It's a fashion show. I can me this and me that. It's a fashion yeah. show. Yeah. I want, I've got no clothes on, and it doesn't matter. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So when when they've done all that, when you've gone through all that, then maybe they'll sit back and really consider what it is they really want to do. Mm. You know, but no, not you can't advise really. Yeah, yeah. You have to go and live it and experience it. Yeah. No, I think you said some really interesting things in that. I mean, the, the business, learning the business, the, the wool is not pulled over your eyes. It's like a a real big one there and obviously yeah, it's whether, whether people yeah. really want this is it just the glamorous side they're looking at and not the, mm. the actual mm. career or the work that you have to put in so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. things in, instead of all of that ruby it's been fantastic i've enjoyed it i've laughed a lot today <laughs> it's been great thank you yeah so listen where can people find you well i'm on facebook of course yeah yeah but yeah the, this is ruby turner and then there's the website the yeah. website, the rubyturner.com website, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Where the latest stuff's work. Next year's gigs are all up there, I think, yeah. I hope. Yeah. yeah. They're not, you know what I mean? Not this movement. Oh, my God, I can't go. But there you have it. Yeah, yeah. But and, they yes. can, and they can get to your album on your website as well. Albums on the website. Albums yeah. are, you know, are Amazon and all that. It's it yeah. download it digital. Everything's, everything's set up as it was, my dear. Yeah. I don't know if it's still there. I'm sure I, I guess they probably are, but you can download on all the platforms yeah. and download the digital stuff, yeah. stuff, or the physical. I've got the physical that's also on the website. So, yeah. yeah. Ruby, it's been great having you. Thank you so much. You've been a great guest. Uh, you've been great. I, thanks, Millicent. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruby, for taking time to give your insights of your years in the music industry to help my listeners on Success Beyond the Score. And if you have been inspired by what you've learned today, please leave your experience on the platform you are listening or watching. It'd be great to hear from you. So tune in next time for my next guest. And while you wait, don't forget to grab a copy of my free e-booklet called Revealed. 25 Secrets of a Successful Gigging Musician, Singer, Rapper and Spoken Word Artist from www.successbeyondthescore.com.